Hello and welcome to our guide on using SIPTRUNK Call Manager to create basic call plans. We're going to create a couple of business continuity plans, one for a customer with a backup service and one for a customer without. Log into the SIPTRUNK Call Manager portal at siptrunkcallmanager.co.uk. You'll be presented with the welcome screen and your list of numbers available on the service. To view the existing call plans on a number, click the eye icon. You can view, copy or edit call plans from this list. You are not able to edit active call plans as this would disrupt the live service. Instead you can copy the live plan by clicking the copy button here. Or click add call plan to create a plan from scratch. Give the plan a name and click save. This brings you to a blank plan. You need to add some nodes to the plan in order for it to route a call. Click on the first node and select add from the wheel. A list of compatible nodes will show for you to select an action from. If we pick the SIP trunk option, this creates a simple point-to-point -point connection from the number on your SIP trunk to your customer's PBX. All the routing will be done on their network as a normal call would route. If we click on the SIP trunk node, again we see a filtered list, now with only divert available. The list here has been filtered to only compatible nodes, which will prevent you from adding incompatible nodes to the call plan. For a guide on what each node does, see the help documentation. Click on Divert to add it to the plan and we can see the available options that appear. Under each of the Divert options you can create nodes to direct the call further. It's likely however that within the PBX setup on site you will already have call plans such as queues and voicemails configured. Therefore you may wish to remove the busy and no answer options. Just click on them then click the bin icon from the wheel. If your customer's PBX doesn't have these types of things set up and you wish to keep these diverts on your call plan you can do so. Let's take a look at setting these diverts up. We're going to take an example call plan you can use when your customer's PBX develops a fault and the number in question cannot receive calls. You and your customer will most likely want to know that there is an issue, so we'll take a look at setting up notifications too. The idea here is that the plan is active all the time, so that if there is an issue with the service, the calls will follow the defined path with no user intervention. The customer's PBX will handle the more complex routing once the call has been delivered there after it has been routed through the plan on STCM. Click on the Divert When Network Error node, click on Add and choose the Destination node from the list. Click on this new node and click the pencil icon to edit the properties. Enter the number you want the calls to divert to in this situation. This will likely be a landline number of the customer's backup service. Click Save when you're done. For email notifications to be sent when this call route is used, open up the SIP trunk node again and tick the on failover box and add a contact email address. This will ensure you get a notification to this email address when calls follow this route. Click validate. If you have missed any information from a node, for example the telephone number on a divert node, the system will highlight this and direct you to correct the issue. You'll be asked if you want to activate or schedule activate and if you want to make it your business continuity or BC plan. This will flag the plan as such in the list of core plans so you can identify which plan to use quickly in a network failure scenario. You can also close the plan. This will save the changes but won't activate the plan. If the customer doesn't have a backup telephone service, you can set the core plan up slightly differently so you receive notification that there is an issue with the line. Instead of the destination node, you can use the voicemail to email node. This will send an email out to the recipients added here when a voicemail is left on the number. You can upload a custom message to apologise for the issue by clicking the megaphone icon here. Click upload a new file, give it a name then choose your audio clip. Click save to upload this to STCM and it will appear in the list of available announcements. You can then listen to the voicemails and get back to the customer as necessary. It's pretty straightforward once you've seen how it's done. These core plans are designed to be short term fixes. It is possible to create complex plans that can root calls as a PBX would. These types of plans would normally be used when the issue is going to take a longer time to fix and are covered in part 2.